In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this title animation using a light and depth of field in After Effects. No, not that kind of field. Hi, I'm Adam Bennett. This is Video Shop. I need to stress that, as always, I have no original ideas or creative to my own, and I didn't make this animation for HBO. It looks like that on a goes to intermission film. All I've done is watch it and be impressed, film it on my phone, and then happily recreate it as a way to introduce students to lights and depth of field. The great thing about the approach that I'll show you is that once you've added a camera and light, the deep focus look is built in and you don't need to keyframe blurs or opacity. As always, you'll find a link for the free project file in the description below. Okay, let's get started. We'll start by animating the type. I set the text, then converted it to shape layers. To spare my sanity, I used explode shape layers, which very quickly assigns each letter for its own layer. You can do this manually if you're a masochist or insomniac, but I wouldn't recommend it. If you're good with text animators, you could probably animate a live text layer with just a few keyframes by using enable per character 3D and then adding animators to the rotation and position values. I'm not great with text animators, so I've animated each letter individually. Each letter is animated over a couple of seconds and I've keyframed the rotation so they randomly appear to fall away. Finally, I've offset the keyframes so there's a bit of variation. And that's it for the keyframing. Now we're going to add a camera. Make sure depth of field is checked. No, not that kind of field. We bump the aperture all the way up to 2000. You can see the letters blurring pretty much as soon as they start falling back in Z space. I played around with these settings, but for this particular animation, there's little difference between them as you can see. But definitely change the iris shape. Anything that's not fast rectangle will look good. I was tempted to go with nonagon just because it's fun to say. Nonagon, but nonagon. But I started on octagon so I could use Chuck Norris clips for the rest of the video. Is that right with you, Chuck? Probably. He seems okay with it. I honestly have no idea what these settings do, but feel free to take a deep dive on the Adobe website to educate yourself. I choose to remain blissfully ignorant. They don't seem to make any difference for this scene anyway. Lastly, Adobe recommends using 32 bits per channel but again, for an animation like this, it doesn't seem to make a difference, but maybe something to bear in mind if you work on something more complicated. Next, we'll add a spotlight. We'll move it over here to the left, then go to the material options of one of the letters and make sure cast shadows and accept lights and shadows are all on. We can copy and paste these material options onto the other letters. And now they cast shadows onto each other as they animate off. Tweak the other settings as you want, but to get the effect of the letters disappearing as they fall away, you want to adjust these. I'll save a deeper dive into these settings for a future time, but I set the fall off to smooth, and if you adjust the radius and fall off, essentially you can fine tune how quickly your letters disappear. These are the settings that I ended up using, with the light set just in front and to the left of the camera. If like me you find it annoying when you've got a light in your scene and you can't probably see everything, use Control shift h it turns off toggle mask and shape path visibility. So if you have layers selected, the transform controls will disappear. But just toggling this doesn't turn off the lights and camera controls, so it's better than that. Anyway, my new favorite shortcut. Feel free to mock me for having a favorite shortcut. You're drunk. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Tint the letters and add a subtle background color. And it looks pretty close to what intermission films did. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.